we have a surprise. Um, we're going to go. What we're we gonna do, Noah? Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a surprise. I know, but what is the surprise? Tell the tell the vlog. What did I tell you inside? Who we'll walked out? I said, this is a surprise. I forgot. It is over 100 degrees. Or about 100. No. You're okay, babe. You're okay. She said she'll go slow for us, okay? Enjoy. You can put it on. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I want you to go slower. Oh, oh my gee, Don't city girl. Gone. Come on. Where's the res in you? Where's the res girl? Red. <laughs> it happened off the res. So, we are, where are we are? Welder, Texas. Welder, Texas. And we... Oh, yeah. The uh, Texas Buffalo Project. The Texas Buffalo Project. Lucio Contreras. I don't know how to say that. I don't know Lucio Contreras. Lucio Contreras. And this is... Say hi. Hi. Yes, let's go see some buffalo, you guys. Oh, sorry, I'll go slower. <laughs> really Can slow. Go oh, we're gonna get there until tonight. <laughs> Are you okay, Noah? Yeah. Okay, good. Look, Chiz. We're gonna have a bonfire, have a cookout. Uh, Look, one's ahead right there. I mean, look, that, that's what they do. They're, they love to just... Look, you see them? Mm -hmm. Turn it off for a second. So they love to just wallow in the water almost the whole day when it's hot. And then, like, early in the morning, you see them grazing at night. But it really teaches me, like, for us as human beings, yeah. mm -hmm. slow down. Right. We can still get the work we need to be done, but take a minute to relax throughout the day like like them like them mm -hmm. take care of ourselves especially as women we work non-stop right like yes we never, we ends, never get a break but you look at these women these are almost all females oh out of all of here we probably have three maybe four bulls how can you tell the difference between a male and a female first of all the male's horns are more upright versus the females are curved. Oh, this okay. is a female in front of us. Female in front of us where? And that's our one bull, that guy out there, that great big guy. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's our one bull. But then there's the two far. young bulls. They're young boys. Teenagers. Those are no. I love how they just get in the water. Yeah. And they're like, shoot, it's hot. <laughs> But yet we wow. don't do it right. We is the really... water cool, cool or is it like warm? It's cool. It's cool. It's um only rainwater and we're gonna splash. There was oh, a drought splashing. earlier and that water was so low. But oh. since we got a lot of rain it filled up. There's a baby over there in the grass. You can kind of see it sitting down on its mom. Oh, yeah. Duh. Way over there? there? Yeah, right, right across. <gasps> oh, that one's coming up. It's walking She's up. She's going to come up. How close are they getting? They're going to get, they lick this thing. Really? Yeah, but I, I'll move so they won't. Well, we're in here. When I'm by myself, I can feed them like out of my hand. Like, like, like this? that. But Did they know hurt? me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't know me. They're wild animals. They're not like dogs or cats. I don't name them. They don't have names. 
These are wild animals, but you don't need to be afraid. They're not aggressive. They just can be unpredictable, so to speak. Kind of sounds like Cameron when he snores. <laughs> 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 it's like, sounds like Gary. <laughs> Father like son. Right. It's cute though. Wow. So, um, I'm sorry. I didn't even introduce. I didn't even um, introduce you into my video. Uh, what is your name? I am Lucille Contreras. Lucille Contreras. And um, how? Um, We're at the Texas <laughs> Tribal Buffalo Project. And um, I. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at the babies running. He's running to his mom. Oh, is that the mama right here that's Probably. walking up? So right now we'll go down and around and we'll come around the buffalo on the other side. Okay. They go all the way down to the root or something? And that's why cows are not like some people say, oh, cows and buffalo, they do the same thing. They don't. Mm -hmm. And for climate, for the changing climate, buffalo are better because they don't take away everything so, uh, like yeah, the cows do. Smart, that person is smart. Yes. Wow. How they conserve. Yes. They're the best Their own stewards. Food. Their own limit themselves as much as they're big big animals they know how to limit themselves yes in so many ways that's what you're saying and the cow doesn't right and and if you think about it they're from europe and these are from here <laughs> so you can put whatever you want to that but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah right here oh look at that hi can you see it baby no yeah. Right here, baby. You, you see? Woo. Oh, they're going that way with the mamas. Woo. Oh, there's two babies in there. Mm -hmm. you, see them? you see, baby? Oh, look, there's two. I see him. Oh. Okay. There's two right there. Oh. You see the baby? This is a really cool experience. I've never been close to a buffalo. Really? Yeah. I Ooh, look at that year. one. Hi. Well, that's still a baby. That's still a baby? From last year. You see the little horns? Oh, you see the horns, baby? Uh -huh. Cute, huh? They get bacon. Mm hmm. Yes. He's the, father, he's the father of almost 
Oh, just, just, oh, just. Yeah. Oh. There's a baby right here, Bob. Look. Look, Bob. Look. Yeah, I see, baby. I saw it, baby. They think I'm going to feed them. That's why they're coming over. There's a cow. It's a buffalo. Yeah, and there's a. A yana, baby. There's a yana. A yana. A yana that, eh? Oh. <laughs> How often do you feed them? I feed them about once a week just to keep the relationship. Oh. So there's two calves over there, two, three, Look four, here. five, six, six Whoa. calves. There's one close to us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that big daddy me. one is coming. They're used to me feeding them. So we have six calves. Whoa. Daddy. Cat. That's the daddy one. Yeah. I like and she said she can feed him like this with her hand. Can you try Mommy and Daddy. But um, I have a few questions. Um, I wanted to ask these questions while we were driving, but it was hard and we we're just too excited for the buffalo. So um, the first one is I wanted to know if you can introduce yourself and then if you can introduce yourself in English and then in your own language, if you don't mind. Huh. Um, my name's Lucille Contreras and I'm the CEO and founder of Texas Tribal Buffalo Project. And uh, Dazo, um, my name is Lucille Contreras. My dad is Joe Contreras. He's a Lee Pan Apache from Laredo and Coahuila. And on my mom's side, we're Mexica from the state of Jalisco. Cool. And then the next one is, uh, tell us about your project. Uh, Texas Tribal Buffalo Project, our mission and our goals are to help reconnect the Texas indigenous tribes to each other yeah. by reestablishing our kinship as relatives, as well as connecting to the buffalo as our relatives. Because in the past, Lee Pan Apache relied, everything was the buffalo. Yeah. Our home, our spirituality, our food, everything mm. came from the buffalo. And now we're trying to reconnect with the buffalo as our relatives so that our kids can have that fortitude and that perseverance that the buffalo have to be able to survive. 
Do you enjoy do you enjoy what you do? I love what I do. It's um, a labor of love for sure. Oh. Yeah. Um, how did you get started? Well, um, it, long story short, um, I always identified with plants and animals. Like as a kid, I was yeah. always wanting to be with the plants and the animals. As I grew, I came to come closer and closer to my own indigeneity as a Lipan Apache. And my grandmother was raised in the mountains in Coahuila in Mexico. And I've always also had an affinity for the mountains. And during my 20s, my youth, I lived in Boulder, Colorado. Oh. And I just learned more. I, it's like I had to leave Texas mm -hmm. to learn about our own people in Texas, oh. the Lee Pan Apache. Yeah. And once I started learning, it's like doors in my life open and speed up to 30 years later, um, I decided at the beginning of COVID that I wanted to come back to Texas. Yeah. And I didn't have a way to come back until I filed my beginning farmer and rancher loan. So I have a USDA beginning farmer and rancher loan, and that's what we use to purchase this property. And at the same time, I established the nonprofit Texas Tribal Buffalo <laughs> Project. So I did those simultaneously. We hit the ground running. And two years later, we have 20 head of buffalo. Wow. And we have staff, and we've created programs, and a youth camp. And we have a lot of things for the future that we're working on, like curriculum development, yeah. a processing facility, and a whole bunch of other stuff. That sounds really cool. And I can't wait to be part of it, like what we're talking about at the table. It'd be so cool, like, like everybody coming together, like cooking the buffalo or butchering and all kinds of um, healthy cooking. Yes, that's gonna be that. I know, I know a lot of people are gonna like that too. Yeah, it's because the <clears throat> buffalo are medicine. So, food wise, but also mentally, spiritually, and physically, everything about the buffalo is medicine for us. I love that. That's really cool. Um, so what is your goal overall? To be able to help all of our future generations so that our kids don't have to suffer the way we did. Who are we? Who are the Lipan Apache? Where do we come from? What are our songs? What are our sacred colors? What are the names of some animals? Like I know Iyani is buffalo in Lipan. But what about all the other words? So the end goal is for that all the future generations, like your daughter, my sons, future grandchildren, to be able to be that much further ahead. Because in Texas, what happened is they try to tell us we were extinct. Oh yeah. That there were no Indians. They were all dead and gone in Texas. But that's not true. We're here. We're alive. And we want our kids to have that much of a better self-knowledge of who they are. Because if you know who you are and where you come from, that's going to help you in your life go so much further in every way that you want. So we can be all be healthy people again. Yeah. I like that. Um, how long have we been doing this? You said two years, but more than two years, yep, right? Yep, so uh, I lived in Pine Ridge for a while in Porcupine, and I worked with Buffalo there for about seven years. And then uh, here we're going on to two years. But really, I feel like all of my life, from the time of my childhood till now, everything has built up to doing the work that I'm doing today. All of my past experiences with my family. Um, I'm also an Aztec dancer for about 30 years, so all of my training and discipline and the protocols of Aztec culture yeah. and uh, my, my going to college at CU, connecting with other Native students, my jobs uh, in IT, working with computers, 
as well as working for nonprofits. So really, it's almost like my whole life I've been gathering tools to put in my basket so I could use today. That's really cool. <laughs> you know how they say, uh, gather tools for your toolbox, but I say our basket. <laughs> yeah, baskets and our toolbox. Yeah. Because we're female. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Um, where are you from? I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas, born and raised, and um, I live smack dab in the traditional homelands of the Lipan Apache right now in Welder, Texas. Oh, I, I remember what I was going to say now. Like, what would you say? A Yanni, it means um, buffalo in your language? Yes. And then for us, as the now, we say a Yanni. We add the, like, I guess we add the A. Uh huh. And like, uh, Apaches and Navajos, they kind of like have the same similar um, um, words in our language, but like different dialects. Yeah. So it's pretty cool because when you were when you were driving us around, you were saying Yanni. So it sounds like buffalo. Is all like, and then you said it was buffalo in your language. I was like, whoa. And that's when I was telling Anua, I was like, how do you say buffalo? But she was all excited and she was kind of scared with the drive. And I told her it's a yana. She's like, oh yeah, I remember. But yeah, our when we say buffalo, we say a yana. Wow, a yana, a yana. And then you're, you guys just yani, 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 and, or yani. And then in Blackfeet, they say I think they say yani. So yani. it is like that's pretty that cool, is awesome, right? Yeah, I met some uh, Blackfeet um, tribe too, but I never really like got to their language or anything but we were just well that was their job core days and just hanging out and do our stuff but that's pretty cool like yanni ayana and yanni yanni yeah. that's really cool um what can people do if they want to help or support um first of all we have volunteer days we have different things that we'll put on our social media like we do a litter pickup that we sponsor, but as we're doing the litter pickup, I always remind everybody, we're actually taking care of the land of our ancestors. To be able to do a litter pickup, you might think, oh, I don't want to go pick up trash. Yeah. But when you think of you're taking care of the land of your ancestors, it's you're gonna a want to do it. more meaning, mm -hmm. right? And when we walk, like a lot of the roads that are in Texas, Yeah they're made on top of the old trails that our people used. So we could literally be walking in the footsteps of our ancestors just by picking up litter. That's one thing. The other thing are, we have several events coming up. Well, we'll have an Indigenous Peoples Day and a other uh, Texas Indigenous gathering down the pike in October. So we're always looking for volunteers to help uh, either set up or bring your booth, bring your experience yeah. to the table, share. Um, we're always looking for cooks that do traditional food cooking with some of our native foods so that yeah. we can get back to healthy meals and healthy ways of, of cooking our traditional foods or even eating our traditional foods. Um, and um, we have a website, Texas Tribal Buffalo Project .org. Okay. And I'll, I'll get that down and then we'll put it in the link uh, um, in the description box. Okay. Sorry. Um, oh, how did you meet my father-in-law, Gary? Um, Gary? And how do you know him? Gary and Matilde reached out to me because of the work that Texas Tribal Buffalo Project is doing and the work that Gary and Matilde are doing regarding the birds, the sacred birds, the sacred trees, all of that overlaps because our end goal is to help all the future generations. So Gary and Matilde, I love that they bring that cosmic knowledge of yeah. the stars and the stories about the paintings, the, the, the rock art, the rock art and all of that and the meanings. And we're bringing together the buffalo and the meanings. So we're working that together is like really cool. uh, partners as partners and i don't even remember the exact reason why we met except for that i know the creator put us together it's like meant to be that's awesome um do you have any buffalo meat 
Nay. I'm saying that's kidding. No. Hold on. Uh, do you have any <laughs> buffalo meat? Yes, we do. We don't have it here at the house right now. It actually is just leaving uh, processing this week and going to our cold storage. So this week we're going to have in our cold storage because it's like about probably a thousand pounds of meat. So it's brisket, oh ribeyes, tenderloin, and ground bison meat. And so all of that we'll have up for sale on our website. We have a store. And then I personally take the meat with my freezer and my generator to different events that natives are at, either a spiritual gathering or powwow, social, whatever. Anywhere that our people are, I take the meat so that I'm encouraging us to use this meat in our daily diet to help ourselves. Um, before I forget, can you put the website in? Sure. Oh yeah, I showed up. Look, there you go. That's us. Awesome. Okay, so let me see. Do you name your buffaloes? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Okay, let me confess that. <laughs> Confession hey, time. Truth is, the bull. I do. I call him my Bubba's. Oh, you mean the the the, the big the, guy? Yeah, yeah. But Bubba's. He's the only one that oh. I kind of. Cause I bonded with him when he first came. It was just him for about two months before the other buffalo came. And they're such herd animals. I didn't want him to get lonely. So yeah. every day I would like take my laptop and work like all day next to him and mm. hang out with him. So we kind of developed a relationship and he's my bubba's. You weren't like, um, like you weren't scared that he was gonna do anything like, um, Jump the fence or whatever. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. That's cool, Bubba's. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh well, we we already saw some up close. Um. We couldn't feed any because they already got fed, right? Yeah, and I think it just we didn't arrange it in time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, just it was hard. It, everything was just. Yeah. We it wasn't planned. Um. How are the animals harvest? So we haven't harvested any of the buffalo we have here yet, but we do plan to do some maybe in the spring. And spring. Um, we try to do it as respectful as possible with honoring the animal, putting down some tobacco, saying yeah. prayers, giving thanks for her life or his life. And then one of my sons will take him down and then we we drink the blood because you're honoring the life of that buffalo. Yeah. By first thing is touching the blood to your mouth, you know, and have tasting it, having it in your body. I know some people that will eat the liver like yeah, they'll, they'll right away, it. and you know I think we'll we'll do that as a way to honor and respect the buffalo and its life. Um, what happens to the meat and the uh, carcass? So, um, the meat and the carcass right now, because we're using a processor, there are certain protocols that you only have five days to go get the heads and the hides. If you miss that, they actually throw them away, which is why we want to do our own processing here. Yeah. We want to train people to be butchers, to be the meat processor, so that we make sure, because our ancestors used everything of the animal, head to toe, hide, skull, bones, sinew, liver, yeah. teeth, everything. And we want to be able to do that same. The only way we can do that is if we have control fully of the processing. So our future goals are to have a processing here ourselves ourselves that's that's really cool and i'm really i'm really glad that we came out here because you know i've never been up close to a buffalo and i think i thought only buffaloes were like up in uh yellowstone or like up in the far north but when i'm 
when I found out that we we're gonna be seeing some buffalo, I was like, what, really? I was all excited and I knew we didn't want to tell anyone because we want her to be surprised and she was excited. I'm glad she was excited to see it. But that was, the, the, today was one of like, I'm gonna remember it because I, the Bubba's, it was really huge and he was just right there and it was really great. I really appreciate you taking the time, driving us out there, showing us, um, even the babies, and mm -hmm. it was just, they were so cute. I really appreciate mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. And thank you for taking the time for um, doing an interview with us. Oh, and... <laughs> 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 it, it, was, it was it was an awesome experience for me, and hopefully a new one will remember. Oh, I'm pretty sure she will, because she's, she'll probably rewatch it and all that, but... Yeah, thank you so much for having us here, for your hospitality, and even though Nua was all scared of the bugs and the, the wasp, and <laughs> it, was, it was a great day, today's a great day, I appreciate it, and um, hope, hopefully we can see each other more yeah. after this, and be involved with, um, with Dad, and all of us together, and That'll be great. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's it for this episode of Happen Off the Race. Thank you for joining us. And look at the beautiful sunset. And I see the babies running way over there. Come on, see. Just look with your eyes. Bye. Bye bye, bye. Buffalo. Ayane. Bye, Yanni. Yanni.